going on guys? Welcome to my tutorial in Adobe After Effects CS5. In this video I'm going to show you how to create some lightning and rain. First thing I'm going to do is take my video and bring it on the timeline here. And we're going to create ourselves two adjustment layers. So I'm going to go to Layer, New. Select Adjustment Layer. And I'm going to do it again. We're going to rename the first one Lightning. And then you can rename the second one Rain. Over here in the effects and presets, I'm going to type in lightning. And we're going to take the lightning and bring it out onto the lightning layer. Over here in the effects controls panel, I can adjust how the lightning looks. I can also take it over here and move its position. Now the reason why I have um, an adjustment layer over here for the lightning is because I want to control the timing for the lightning in my intro video. I could select on the drop down menu here and put one keyframe for the opacity there and then select another one and then we can add another one and bring the opacity to zero and as you see the lightning disappears if you don't want that faded look you'll just make sure that your keyframes are close together over here so it'll go to zero pretty quickly right away next thing I want to do was change the look of the lightning so I swapped the colors over here. I made this white, and then over here I made this blue. And I also added a glow effect to the lightning, so you type in glow over here. When you add the glow effect at first, it really warps the video. So I lowered this glow threshold. And then the glow intensity was about, well, a little bit over one. But I thought I gave it a nice look. So the second thing I'm gonna do is add some rain and we're going to apply it to the rain adjustment layer. So over here on the left hand side you have the effects controls panel with the rain effect and we can adjust how the rain appears. Just like with the lightning where you're controlling different options you can come over here and say I want to control the amount I'll add a keyframe there and then we can add another keyframe and we can adjust the amount. So that's about it. That's how you add rain and lightning to your Adobe After Effects project. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.